Mumbo? He's back, boys! Where is he? Mumbo, 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 Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo, Jumbo. Look at him go, CEO, at him here go. he is. Woo. Let's go, Mumbo and Grian are back from regions beyond. This is amazing. It's good to see you, Mumbo. Good to see you, Grian. <laughs> also, Mumbo, I've had a, a Mumbo Jumbo detector on the server for when you logged on, but I didn't know it was just going to be a Mumbo. Just right, a mumbo. <laughs> yeah, I've I've lost I've lost the jumbo of my mumbo, <laughs> unfortunately. And you have only one good time with scarf. Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. We're flying right through Scarland, our theme park here in Hermitcraft, where we're slowly building up our theme park base. Where, of course, in our last episode, we started the castle, which, of course, will not only be the centerpiece of the park, but also be our base and our home here in the park. And I've got so many surprises for you, not just seeing Mumbo in green finally back on the server, but I've got some really, really cool things to do today. But I just wanted to fly through the park and show you my true happy place. And if you also find happiness here, hit that like button and let's get to work. You might be asking, Scar, what is today's project? Well, today's project will be the largest terraforming project I have ever done on this channel and I'm both excited and apprehensive. It is going to be a massive project to build out the land for our castle, the mountains, and of course the cliffs because as of right now, this whole thing is floating and we need to ground it in some beautiful terraforming. So as you know, this is the castle and it is only just the wall. The major portion of the castle is actually going to go back here and then straight up. So that means we need to build a giant mountain that connects over to the shopping district and of course build out the cliffs so this doesn't look like a floating platform, if that makes sense. And I also realized if we are connecting to the shopping district, we can make basically a new gate into Scarland. So you can enter from the shopping district and from the front. A massive project like this is gonna need a whole, whole, whole lot of resources. And that is what I have been working on the last week is gathering a whole bunch of shulker boxes full of materials. So this section over here is basically for what we're gonna do with the castle. I have a general idea of what the castle is gonna look like. So I have just been gathering and gathering and gathering as many blocks in that category, but all of these are for the landscape, hence no videos recently and a whole lot of other reasons, but we'll get into that later. So as you can see, we've got a ton of materials ready to go for this project. I've got the idea, I've got the materials. Now I just need to build up the courage to undertake this massive terraforming project. But before we do that, In Real Life Scar has a message for you. I've got a problem. A cord problem. I'm getting tied up and wrapped up when I'm streaming with my headphone cords. I've got cords and cables running throughout my studio and even my cat Jelly lives on a cord bed. And that is where today's sponsor Raycon comes in to save my day and free me of my cords with their premium audio brand earbuds. Let's take a look and learn more. Raycon is a premium audio experience at a perfect price point. Whenever you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker that'll last you all night at your next party, Raycon's got you covered. And yep, Raycon's start at half the price of other premium audio brands. They're ideal for everyday use and built to withstand the occasional left in pocket washing machine experience that we have all had. Eight hours of listening to audio, making calls, plus the charging case holds 30 32 hours of battery. On top of that, they come in a wide variety of colors to match your aesthetic. I also absolutely love the fact that they're so small and discreet, and they are allowing me to get my work done today in my office and not be tied down via tethers when I want to watch my podcast. So if you are ready to buy something small, but with a big impact, click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash goodtimeswithscar where I have a very special offer for you and that is 15% off your next Raycon purchase. So thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring today's video and thank you so much for checking out the sponsor, which in turn helps support the channel. So thank you. I am not putting off my work, no, I am seeking revenge. <laughs> so dog is running around the server, dropping anvils on people's heads 
and it is time to put the pain on top of him. He's over at the TCG Arena. Let's see if we can drop one on him. Uh, I don't know if you attacked with the Hypno before. No, Duck! that's the first time, I think. No, I attacked with Hypno on him. <laughs> Oh, so damn you, Scott. It's fine. It's fine. oh, he was very lucky that he moved that just single block over for the anvil to miss him. Oh, I will get back at him. We still have the duel, by the way. Anyway, we do need to get some work done. And the first thing we're going to do is start laying out the walls. So we're going to take the walls and we are going to create a bit of a layout around in kind of an oblong circle. And that's going to allow us to establish how the mountain and the landscape will fit around the castle, because I want the castle to look like it's integrated into the landscape. Hmm, not as much progress yet, but we will get there. Believe me, by the end of this episode, I'm going to knock your socks off with this landscape. But we've got the wall now established here. And what we're going to be able to use this as our guide, because of course, I don't want a wall that's just straight. I want to have some shape and some curves throughout the design. So I think that will look very, very nice. But I had to stop because somebody messaged me about a duel. That is right. Doc has been requesting a duel with me for months now, it feels like. So Hawkeye is here and Doc is going to experience Velocite. We go classic, old school Western duel, Ooh. right? So if you have two points here, um, so you have one back there, and I thought we'd do a real fair quick draw duel. Oh, so Red Dead Redemption style. Here. Yeah, we stand here okay. on the target block facing each other's backs, and then, you know, we aim at the other target block there, draw our bow, and then we go three, two, one. Ooh. Quick fling, right? And whoever, I mean, we're not going to be able to kill each other, I guess, but... Whoever gets, uh, we do best of three, and whoever got gets more hits wins it. Oh, this sounds fun. I, I like this. Okay, so it's best right, of three, right. you said? Yes, yes. Okay, sweet. I'm ready. All I've right. got slime on my all back. Right. Should yeah, we wait. put <laughs> pants on? Should we go all out, Doc? Should we oh. go pants? Oh, all right. As Momo right. would say, pants. <laughs> pants? <laughs> <laughs> all right, don your pants, Mumbo. I mean, all right. Doc, I got, I got excited. All right. Looking at the target block. Three, two, one. Oh. Why yes. I, why is it so weird? What? Oh, 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 what in the world? How did he do that? Yes. What did I get killed by a slime and an arrow at the same time? What happened? <laughs> Holy moly. Where's your armor? I mean, it's right here. How did you do that? <laughs> Whoa, your armor is gone, man. What happened? Did you lose your pants? Can slimes <laughs> pick it up? <laughs> no, they got disintegrated, man. How? You just got hit by an arrow that flew in with 3,000 blocks uh, per second. So a supersonic arrow, it does so much damage, <laughs> it disintegrated your complete armor. <laughs> I heard the clicks and sounds. <laughs> I heard that, I'm like, I, okay, okay. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that you use Velocite against Hawkeye? But the real Velocite, you know, <laughs> like lightning speed. <laughs> Wait, let's see if there's another shot in there. Where does it come from? Where's the machine? <laughs> let's see if it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where the does the arrow is, come from? Yeah, the machine is actually 3,000 blocks away, this way. And uh, yeah, I have some wireless redstone. When I hit my target back there, signal gets transferred there 3,000 blocks away, and the arrow hits an enderman. And as it is so fast, it, uh, um, it loses its collision box and can actually travel through the world. It's pretty crazy. That is it's the mo okay. I thought just <laughs> having a dragon in vanilla Minecraft was insane enough. That is wild. That is true velocity. I'm the velocity king now. But hey, as you lost all your gear, I mean, <laughs> is this that's my rough. dragon? Is this my dragon right here, Doc? Is this it? Is this it? No, that's <laughs> that's a even, bet. It's my constellation prize. <laughs> no, you, I, you actually, I, I'll, I'll give you a dragon. Come, you're gonna, come you're gonna me, actually please. give me a dragon. Okay, where's my dragon? Up there. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, but you know, 
Um, you can have it, but delivery not included. <laughs> I mean, can you put it on a lead? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try that later. I'm going to try that later. I'm yeah. going to figure out how to transport this dragon all by myself. Uh, mm -hmm. The technology that Doc used to blow all of my armor off me was absolutely insane. And the fact that he brought a dragon from the end to the overworld is even more insane. Wow. Now the question is, how do I get that dragon back to Scarland? Hmm. Before we get back to work, thought I'd stop at the TCG shop and look at all the hermits here, just hanging out in the card shop, getting packs, opening them, seeing what others have gotten. And TCG has really brought the hermits back together, which is really fantastic. It kind of felt like for a little bit, we were just playing single player, but now we're all together hanging out, playing this game. So two effect packs is six tokens there. And I've been playing the card game on stream. So make sure you're watching me on Twitch. Oh my gosh, that's a netherite. Oh, that's a netherite sword. Oh, that makes me happy. That's powerful. Love it. So if you're not familiar with TCG, it's a little bit like a Pokemon or a Magic Gathering, something along those lines. So you kind of have a base knowledge of kind of how the card game works. And it's been so much fun. And really the best part is just we're all hanging out having a blast together. After we finish our work today on our project, I'll show you my deck, which is growing and growing into being a very interesting and powerful deck. And I've even got some wins now under my belt because I, well, I had probably the worst win-loss ratio on the server, but now I've got some wins and I'm moving up the rankings. Anyway, we gotta focus. Enough fun, enough games. It's time to get to work here. And that, of course, is our massive terraforming project where we are going to terraform this whole cliff line and into a mountain connecting to the shopping district and you know, hopefully one of the best landscaping jobs you've ever seen from me. So let's hit super fast build mode. super fast landscaping mode and that landscape time lapse took so long i hit 2 million subscribers and from the bottom of my scarred heart thank you so very much for the support allowing me to do what we do here so a big big thank you and of course this very well might be the biggest landscape we have ever done on this channel and i truly ran out of resources which i'll talk about in a moment but our castle is no longer floating which is amazing and you can see the incredible detail of the cliffs this little arch that spans with a tiny rickety bridge in the center and all the beautiful detail now as i said i ran out of resources and yeah, this section <laughs> is incomplete, but don't worry, we will get to it. I just need a whole, whole lot more resources, way more than I anticipated that is, but I had an absolute blast. Even though this took weeks to complete and design, I am so, so very happy with it because there are so many cool things to find. The custom trees, the rickety little bridge spanning the difference between the broken archway, and of course, little caves and lots of color and texture throughout the entire build. There's highlights, there's shadows built into it just to enhance the texture and the feeling of 
the bill just to give it that extra level of depth. And the best part about it is it connects to the shopping district. Now, that's how big Scarline has gotten. I can't even believe we've reached the shopping district. Anyway, over in this area, we are going to build a fantasy realm with builds and things along those lines to really tie in that fantasy feel. So yeah, the castle is no longer floating. Remember when I said way back when we started this project? Trust me. <laughs> Hopefully it is starting to pay off for you giving me that trust. And one little uh, detail here that I've taken out is that sandbar run along here. So we now have an uninterrupted river and it's it's still a work in progress along with that side, but we'll get to it. You don't worry, okay? <laughs> anyway, I want to give you guys a quick tip here. So when you're building your builds, obviously you're designing the landscape and you're designing these structures, but when you're doing it, remember in the reality of what you are creating, the landscape came first. You are putting those man-made structures into an existing landscape. So that is how you should think when you're designing your builds. That's how I've designed the castle walls, and it's just a good thing to keep in mind. Flying back to Doc's base because I promised you my TCG deck. And without any more delay, my deck. Now, there has been a rule change, and I don't think I can use this many double item cards anymore, which is a shame, but I am using a PvP mono deck. So you can see I have the Wells Knight, which is what they call a Berserker. Don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. And what it can do is if Wells gets down into like orange or red health, his damage multiplies and continues to get more. So you can deal like 150 damage with his highest level attack, Vengeance. And of course, we we have false and then we have cleo which has puppetry which i can then mimic you know wells or false's number one moves so that's super cool and then the standard item cards we have some armor sword <laughs> the infamous clock and now we even have a totem here are my other items on this side we have our tnt composter we now have a netherite chest plate and a netherite sword which is super super cool so that is my current deck which obviously i might need to modify when i check the rules because double item cards i think i can only use three now which is a bummer i traded a lot of good cards for those but as you can see here here's my terraform set which i'm building up i need to get more pearls and then of course the balance the miner the pvp the farm card set the redstone set the builder set the explorer set and the prankster set and these are my miscellaneous cards and things along those lines so if you are interested in watching tcg make sure you follow me on twitch because we we usually play when we stream. Now, if you see something that I am not using appropriately or I should be taking advantage of, build me a deck, send it to me on Twitter or Discord or wherever. Um, so yeah, look through all of my cards that I have here and then let me know. But as you can see, I've got 28 tokens. It's time to spend rolling up into the tcg card store it's time to spend some of our tokens now we're not going to spend them all because i hear there may be something new coming to the shop very very soon but we'll spend a few and it appears this machine is completely out of stock that is a sad scar right jelly sad scar let's do some item packs here now i do believe that you get a double in every pack Oh, you do. This is good. This is good. I want to broaden my horizons when it comes to these cards. I've been mono PvP for a very long time. So getting some doubles, getting some extra item cards is a good thing because we may open up some hermit packs here and a terraforming one. That is absolutely perfect. So tokens go in there. Now we need to decide hermit packs or booster packs. I think we'll go hermit packs. I've never opened a hermit pack before. <laughs> so kind of nervous. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, a rare false. I think that's a builder type. Now let's try this next set. Oh, that hypno is super rare. That's good. And let's do it one more time. And hello? Ready? Hello? Um, oh, here it is. <gasps> the Corallus rare. This is amazing. So let's throw our tokens in and then let's display our packs. Hold on one second. Pearl created this recycling system for all of the card pack holders, little foil packs. Oh, come on, Pearl. I'm going to cross the line. You can't you can't tell me not to cross the line. I'm going to do the line crossing. Come on now. Anyway. Hey, excuse me. I am trying to be a responsible hermit by doing my recycling. 
You, sir, are clearly not. I am gonna compost your bones. Anyway, so 10 foil packs for one press of the button. I think I know what the press of the button is, and that is a random TCG card. <gasps> no way, we got a rare Iskull farm type. So this is our haul. Oh, all of our cards, <laughs> skeleton. Oh man, life's never easy, is it? Anyway, if you see a cool deck that I can make with these cards, or these cards, or those, or all of those item cards, let me know. Build me a deck. Flying back into Scarland, this puts a smile on my face. This massive piece of terraformed work that we did here together. And just want to show you the detail here at the lower level. Like, look at all the cool shadowing and, of course, what it looks like from the interior. And just envision in the future a spooky cave down here with maybe a dragon and just maybe a roller coaster. That's right. There might be a roller coaster down here. What else are we going to do with a giant cave? And there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed and, of course, enjoyed that massive terraforming project, which very well might be one of our biggest projects ever. And in our next episode, we are reaching for the sky with our castle. And, of course, I have a surprise for you. Some new Scarland items are coming to the park. And it is something that is held up via a string and floats above your head. And you have never seen anything like this in Minecraft. Actually, some people have spoiled it, honestly, but some of you haven't seen it. It's amazing. So get super excited. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.